The threat of citrus greening is global. Every citrus growing region on the planet and every citrus grove or stand of trees in any of those citrus growing regions either has already seen it or is just one infected plant or one infected piece of fruit or just one monsoon or major windstorm away from being infested. Already experiencing crop losses and the potential devastation of their groves and trying to stave off disaster with expensive, repetitive, highly toxic, conventional protocols, the effectiveness of which is proving modest at best. U.S.-based growers will soon have to be dealing with newly imposed government regulations restricting the types, the amounts, and times of what can and cannot be applied to citrus. While intended to deal with legitimate concerns, perhaps long overdue, regarding fertilizer and pesticide runoff, which we are finally recognizing as having powerful negative environmental impact. As necessary perhaps as they may be, the new regulations seem to do very little to address the very real needs of the farmers to try to continue to survive and contribute to the world's overall food supply. It is a horrific catch-22 that affects every one of us. what the growers need, what we need, is a miracle, or at least some nearly miraculous solutions. Apart from the practical and ethical considerations regarding the advisability of applying and accumulating increasingly toxic poisons and residues to the trees, to the fruit, to the soil, the runoff, and the groundwater, there are some pragmatic concerns that need to be addressed. Three questions. One, could the time frame citrus growers face before the majority or total loss of their groves actually be as little as three to five years? Two, is the average kill rate per pesticide application really not much better than about 50 percent? Three, are the surviving pests truly mutating and becoming super bugs by becoming resistant to the poisson du jour? If the answers to any of those questions is yes, we might want to consider whether killing parasites is our best or only option. What if, in rather than targeting the pests we instead treated the plants 
using all natural, 100% botanically derived, 100% biodegradable, 100% carcinogen free products working in harmony with the designs found in nature to enhance the plant's own natural immunities and boost their natural resistance to pests and the diseases they bring. The idea is not as far-fetched as it seems.